Casey, how many gallons is your uh, is your tank here? This truck has a one 15 gallon tank in it. And, and how we many? Just stopped. You can you can show. How many gallons is that? 14.1. Kind of close. But we didn't run out. So we're getting some fuel because we are heading way up into the Newberry Crater, which is a giant volcanic crater on top of a mountain that's so big it has a lake in the bottom of it. Well, two lakes actually. And in one of those lakes is a big Ford F450 with a camper in the back and a boat hooked to the back and all three of them are in the lake. I don't know exactly how bad it is, but we're taking the wrecker up to go see if we can do something about it. So we're up on a mountain and uh, it got really foggy and the amazing thing is like looking in the camera screen I can see 10 times better than I can in person. Oh and by the way, Ethan's oh here. Oh god, hi Casey. He's going to help with filming. <laughs> I should just like tape the camera to the windshield and look at that. Maybe that's East Lake. Uh, Campground or boat ramp? Uh, is there a boat ramp? There? They were at the resort, they said. They called from the resort because there's no service up here. So let's go to the resort. Is that a... That thing's swimming. Yep, that's a truck in the water. Yeah. Oh, it's a big old pontoon boat behind it too. Hey, Casey. Yeah. Should we tell, should we tell him that he can't park there? <laughs> oh, somebody's been spinning and pulling and trying. Yep. Okay. Let's uh, get spun around back here. And I want to be far enough up that I can pull them onto the ground, so I will. Sit right here. Ugh. Well, it's running, it's bubbling. <laughs> oh man. It is, it is eerie out here tonight, Casey. It is. The fog and the lake, and it's <laughs> cold and rainy. How are you I'm doing? So, hey, I'm soaking wet, man. Oh, that's okay. Stay in there where it's warm. I'm, I'm so glad. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you stay in there where it's warm. I'll do the hooking up. Okay. Oh, look how buried it is. Yeah, that is to the axle. Yeah. Well, I'll get that anchor in and hook up some line and see what we can do. That thing is buried. <laughs> Alright, what what's, what's your plan of attack here, Casey? I don't have one yet. Uh oh. <laughs> First plan of attack is the in. There's already a whole bunch of holes. So after the last job I did, we threw everything back in here and I'm like, I'll reorganize that. I didn't. <laughs> That's how it always goes. I definitely didn't. There you go. I'm not going to use it. Is that a two to one setup? Yeah, we're gonna start with two to one because I don't think pulling power is gonna be our limiting factor. 
I think the truck anchoring in place is going to be our limiting factor. So we'll start with just two. We're going to see if this will be enough first. Okay. Uh, we might have to add some more snatch blocks in. And if it doesn't, I can back up really close that I'm pulling up and forward more if this is holding you right here. Yep. It might have to be that, so yep. you and four low? I think it's four low, yeah. Okay. And that's how I got here. It, you know, I was at four high and she was backing me up out in the boat. And I and I thought, you know what, I better put it four low for her. Yep. That's where I fucked up because it needed to be it needed to be engaged. So it was well, like being a two-wheel drive. Yeah. So it's engaged now? It's engaged now. Okay. So when I start pulling, just don't spin yeah. and dig in, but yeah. try to give enough to help out. Gotcha. And if it doesn't work, we'll stop. I'll back up close to it. We're putting some lift into it too to maybe pull up over this. Makes sense. All right. Hey, do you know if that thing's got a locker in it at all? What's that? Do you know if that's got a locker in it? Or is that even going to make a difference here? I don't think it's even going to make a difference on this one. Yeah, she's stuck like Chuck. A lot of Don't hook to the sling, hook to the top. <laughs> what? What's going on, Casey? Hook to the wrong part. Whoopsies. My bad. Everybody makes a sling. Everybody makes mistakes. Never said I was good at this. That's for damn sure. Yeah. Hey, you finally got your ram fixed. Yeah. <laughs> you got me back there put some lift on it. It wasn't moving you at all, was it? I thought it was. Yeah. It might even, it might, uh, kinetic rope might work better. You want to give that a shot? If I don't have that, let me back up and lift. And put some lift to it, which should hold me down. If still not, then we'll try the kinetic rope and see. So, <laughs> you want to do me a favor? What can I do for you, Casey? Pull this cable back. Sure. Okay. Here, I'll I back up. I'll trade you. Yeah. High point on the boom. Boom goes up. Running a whole bunch of line. All right, take two. Coming right out. and I'll pull forward to make sure you get out of here before we get too carried away. 
then you can be happy. That's why I started out up there so that if it pulled, I could pull them all the way up onto dry ground before, you know, in one shot, but it needed lift. Lift is where this wrecker shines over the Jeeps or anything else, to be able to pull it up. Obviously, it makes a big difference. She does, does pretty well. I don't know anything about wreckers, but... Neither do I. I just bought one and pretend to know what I'm doing. There you go. For some reason, people believe me. All of that truck just came out of there. Casey? There's some mud in those brakes. I think so. That is a, that is a lot of vehicle. That's a lot of vehicle. <laughs> that is, there's a lot. It just keeps going. That's a lot, that's a, that's a lot yeah. That's a job well done, though. This camera before I forget it. <laughs> That is, is quite the rig. Oh man. Yeah, it's going out about $250,000 in the water. Cool. <laughs> what, well, what does this weigh all together? Uh, about 6,000 on the camper, uh, 11,000 on the truck, and 4,000 on the boat, so. 21? Yeah. What? That's a lot of weight. Yeah. Yeah. Was your generator and everything in? Yeah, that's my generator. I know why it's flashing. Yeah. Might have gone into an overload protect or something. Oh. Oh, here's look at the water line on the generator. Yeah. Oh shit. You might want to uh, check, yeah. check that out before you fire yeah, it. Yeah. I think I'll plug it in and not even use it for a while. Yeah, I would uh, have that looked at before firing that up. That water line is. Yeah. yeah. You're. Yeah, you're up. Yeah, it was. Right it was fully submerged. Luckily, the camper itself doesn't start till here. Yeah. So the camper itself is out. Yeah. You have uh, much important in this storage? Uh, not too important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man, oh man. Man, this is awesome. Yeah. This is awesome, man. Oh, you know, man. Oh, yeah. I got it. I got to get you some. Okay, you all the cash in my pocket, man. I got to, <laughs> I got to, uh... There's 50. Another 50. Uh, about 140 to five there. And if, and if you guys will take the credit card... So don't worry about it. Uh, this is, is more and more than enough. This will be cameraman pay. This is what? so awesome. Yep. Oh, okay. Good yeah, job. Thanks. Hey, well, it's out, so. Yeah. Well, well, I'll thank definitely you be so ready. Much. Don't warm up. Yeah. I know. Yeah. 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 Sorry, you guys. Thank yeah. you very much. Yep, no problem. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All I did was hold a camera. Well, I'm glad you were here to shoot that. Of course. All right, you guys have a good one. Right. Have a good night, y'all. Oh. Hi, pup. You're out. That went really smooth. That went really good. If I wasn't trying to be lazy and just do it in one shot, I would have backed right up the first time and pulled from high the first time and got it. But I, uh, I was hoping I could get away with doing it the easy way. Because I was afraid if I did that, I'd pull them out and then I'd have to move forward and pull them again. And in all reality, I just had to do it twice anyway. Well, you know what they say, right? Take Tw shortcuts, because well, sometimes it works. Well, twice is that, nice. That's not how it goes? I, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that's bright, and that's going to be it for this one. Yes. But thank you guys for watching. Thanks to Ethan for filming. We're going to head back down the mountain. We're literally inside a volcano right now. Isn't that kind of cool to think about? Like, it's Man. so big, you don't realize it, but like... It's like the size of the road I would think. 
pretty much. I think, no, I think it's that's huge. actually, it's, it's, it's huge. Enormous. Yeah. Oregon is way bigger than you realize. Yeah, th this crater, like everything's a crater lake. Yep. This is literally a crater lake that's like 20 times bigger. Yeah. But it's just so big, it's not as impressive to look at because you can't even see how big of a crater you're actually in. Right. And this is our backyard, which is super cool. Yeah. You're not even in the light over there. Are you? Oh, there you are. I'm hiding in the dark. Yeah. Okay, so that's me for this one. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Ethan. Bye.